All right, this is gonna be photo two of the Photo Deox macro extension tubes. So I talked about how they're cheap, versatile, um, and I actually have a D700 and a D600 here. And we're gonna start with the 700 and then we're gonna to work to the 600. So I'm actually just gonna show how I use these in a very simple way to make some interesting macro shots. I'll try to keep it in the, because I'll keep it all in here so you, everything's seen. So let's unlock this guy. Now I'm actually going to use a cardboard box ooh, to steady this guy because what happens is we end up. This is really hard to do through a camera ends up being front heavy. So I have what happens to be a very close counter is an, an iPhone box. Okay. So as you can see, it's manual. The VR is on. It's not going to matter uh, for any of these shots. But I use this in a much different way than typical. Um, we're in manual, but we're in bulb. So I'm going to make changes and probably shoot it one tenth is going to be probably where we fall but there we go so look at this we you can you can clearly see that i have nothing uh showing up so i also have been using a light and I use this kind of as you, if you would, like a rail. Now, it doesn't show up very clear here, but, and that's way too, too underexposed. Yeah, it's still really dark. I'm just going to bump up to a second. And so you can see that we're getting some of the grain there in the image. So that's the actual cardboard box seen in front of it right there. Now what I typically am doing is I'm putting these in live view. And then using the, it doesn't matter what focus mode you're in, you're gonna need to be in manual. But I actually uh, slowly adjust the camera back and forth. If you're using a tripod or like a rail system, this works great. But this is what you're gonna have to do because you don't have the autofocus. You can fine tune on the ring up here. You can see how, it, how it's blurring out. You can fine tune some but I recommend just using a rail system if possible. Now this is with the D700. Let me turn this off. Turn off the light for a second too. And again, this is just very impromptu to kind of give a demonstration on how I'm handling things. Now the D600, both of these are full frame cameras. Um, I've used it on the D500 with success, which is a crop body. Um, however, it's it's pretty much the exact same process. So locked in place. And again, because we have all this extra, um, it's, it's essentially a cantilever. Um, let's see, make sure we have enough light. So we turn on and then we pop into Live view, the buttons are a lot different, so jumping back and forth between two iterations is, is kind of tough. Um, let's see. But as you can see in this view, or this LCD screen, like you can, oh, did I have this set for long? I didn't change my uh, exposure time. This is set for 30 seconds. It's gonna come back a white screen. Um, but essentially, uh, 
<laughs> one other thing too that I always forget to do because I'm a noob and not a professional is I don't check my settings right away jumping between cameras. Uh, typically I'll have everything set up so what I'm shooting that day, that time is is ready to go. Um, so yeah, it's going to show white. Look at that. So, but shooting manual, um, you can shoot in an aperture and it'll kind of guess, but we were at one second right with the other. Um, all right. So I do recommend tripod shooting whenever possible, just because you're, and you can see how essentially this portion here is kind of in focus and then it, it blurs out. And that's a couple things. One, uh, you're shooting at kind of a wider aperture. Uh, and, or, yeah, you can't stop down and shoot at a smaller aperture um, when you use this system. Um, plus, it's on, uh, it's a G series lens, so we don't have that option. But you can make minor adjustments and adjust the uh, subject or the camera to change where the focus is. So here, um, it might be a little wider, but it's just because the box is at a slant and I'm not really taking too much time to, to set that up, but I just wanted to show kind of how I handle this and, and you, by making small adjustments this way, that's how you're going to be focusing. So uh, think of it similar to a projector um, from back in the day for uh, like a, uh, an overhead projector used in schools where the teacher would uh, flip up the mirror to share the image and then they would actually uh, move the projector further or closer to focus it for the size that they wanted. So they could move the mirror up and down, they could you know, slide the projector closer or forward. Um, but typically what I'm doing is setting my camera at a, at a distance uh, using tripods or on a table with a, a stand underneath it because I don't want to wear out the mount prematurely. Yes, the mounts are, are strong enough for big meaty boys like the, like the 70 to 200. But by making the small adjustments here, I find that to be easier and more effective. Um, at this point. And again, not shooting with a macro lens. I'm shooting with a kit lens and getting the effect of macro. So, uh, oops. again, these guys are, so if you have your kit lens, that's already, you know, taken care of, which I'm not too sure about these plastic mounts, but Nonetheless, they work. So, uh, there's that video. If there's any questions, I can try to answer them. But again, this is just for kind of general budget hobby use. Thanks.